My parents are away for the week and I thought I would treat them and surprise them with a nice, clean and organized fridge. So let's get to it. Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel. I take care of all things mom here, but in this video, it's totally organization and cleaning. I picked up a few Dollar Tree items for this project a while ago, and I've been planning and planning on doing this, and I finally found the right time. My parents are away, and I thought this was the best time to just kind of surprise them with a nice clean fridge when they get home. So let me show you what I got from the Dollar Tree to help me out for this project, and then let's get started. So the first thing that I picked up was just the little veggie storage container. I don't know exactly how well this will work, but I know that we have some blueberries that are tucked away in the fridge, so I thought this would be the best thing to put them in instead of the container that they're already in. So I'm gonna give this a good wash before I use it in our fridge. The next containers that I got, I really love. They are these little soda containers. I don't know how many cans we have, but I do plan on using them for storage of other items. But the nice thing about these containers, let me just get one, is that the back part is raised a little bit more than the front. So they actually are designed to keep your sodas rolling forward. Now this is a great thing to put in your pantry if you have canned goods as well. So I stocked up on a bunch of these. Now these next things are not necessarily for the refrigerator, but I could see possibly using them to store like bags of snacks that I prepare for Aubrey, or if we have like, I don't know, leftovers that are in baggies or things like that. I might use these in the fridge, so we'll see. And then the last thing are these little egg containers. I only have two. We tend to get tons of eggs in this house, so I may actually need to stock up on some more. But I do like that they come with lids and they can stack on each other. So today my real focus is getting the fridge part of my refrigerator done, not the freezer. That could be a whole nother task for another day. If I do have extra time, I'm gonna take you into the pantry and reorganize that as well. I did a full pantry reorganization video a while ago and I will link it up above, but it has gotten a little out of hand, so I figured that would be a pleasant surprise to come home to as well for my parents. So if we have extra time today, I will do that. And if not, I'll do it another day and still add it to this video. So keep watching to the end for that. But enough chit chat, it is now time to start emptying out the fridge and cleaning it out. But first, let me just kind of give you a walkthrough of what it looks like now. You can see real life, how messy we are sometimes, and kind of my plans for how I hope to reorganize this, and we'll see if they actually pan out. So for as long as I can remember since I grew up in this house, we have had like sauces and drink additional stuff and jellies other sauces and alcohol that we never drink <laughs> down on this doorway of the fridge, but we rarely use any of this stuff. And the stuff that we do use gets crammed in the back of these shelves. So for these kind of upper shelves, at least maybe for the first top two, I want to have kind of organization like this, maybe use my Dollar Tree stuff, and just kind of replace all of this with the stuff that we don't use put it up there. And then I'm gonna take what we do use and put it on the doorway. The one exception will be the milk for sure because the doorway does get more warm than the back of the fridge. We don't want the milk to go bad. Doing this will also help me take an inventory of what we have and what we need to use up. So at least we'll have that. And then we did have one of these in the freezer, but it's nice quality, so I wanna make use of this in the fridge as well. As far as the alcohol, I don't know if I want to keep it here or if I want to, you know, move the shelves up and down and kind of store them in the back and have a better place where we don't always access them, but they're still in the fridge. And the last thing is since I'm now at Aubrey's level, I kind of want this to be an easy access place for her to grab her drinks or if I ask her to grab a snack out of the fridge, I'd like for that to be you know, something where like she can easily grab it. And while I'm down here seeing the eggs, I definitely want to move these because Aubrey tends to grab them and wants to hold them and I just don't feel comfortable with that. Overthinking, oh, 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 
Okay, so this didn't turn out exactly like I had planned, but let me just show you how I decided to organize it. So as you guys saw, I tried to put the alcohol on the shelf with the milk, like on the back side, but they're too tall. And so I figured rather than waste kind of vertical space in the fridge, I was just gonna keep them down there. I did replace the shelf with these two drinks, which will then free up when we run out of orange juice and maybe don't replace it. We can put a bread loaf there or something like that. Then we have more drink kind of condiments, kind of side soup and applesauce, and then some other leftovers that we need to use up. And then we've got our like toast section up here with the butter and the kind of little condiments here. So we have the last of bread that we need to use up, our butter and jellies. Moving on to our fridge, veggies, fruit stayed the same. This is now our little drink station. Once we use up Aubrey's drinks, this can hold cans of soda. Then we have our cheese and tortilla drawer. That pretty much stayed the same, although I was able to fit this Parmesan. And then our dairy drawer along with a random corn dog. And then here's where the big change, I guess, occurred. We have a lot of these condiments like easy removal, and then we have like cooking sauces, side sauces, and salad dressings. So if we're having a salad as a family and we like different stuff, we just take this entire thing out and we can all choose 
which one we like, and then we can put it back and not have to really move too much. Finally, on the top, away from Aubrey, are the eggs, and then these extra eggs back here. This can then be used for leftovers when we're all done, and then some extra like dessert toppings and things like that. I am planning on using up that Cool Whip, so that will be out of the way and make the top shelf even look more organized. So Aubrey is still sleeping, at least the last time I checked, which was just a couple of minutes ago. I'm gonna go ahead and make dinner right now and kind of hold off organizing the pantry, but I think I'll take care of that tonight and just kind of show you a quick before and after, not too much during. So keep watching, that's gonna be coming up just after this little clip, but I gotta make some dinner. You hurt me, you did several times it hurts to admit that we're no different i find it hard to commit but you don't even try still i'm better with and without you oh to me I just need this to be real I don't need no fairy tale you don't need a killer for me And that wraps up today's video. I'd like to thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next one. We post videos every Monday and Friday on a variety of content, lifestyle, cooking, cleaning, military life, DIYs, encouraging mathematical development in children, and so much more. Thank you so much again for watching and until next time.